All right, so we're done pretty much with the round bits for now. Just sort of cram them on here and uh, just get them out of our way for a bit. And um, actually, yeah, that's fine. No, no, we need to do that. We're at the uh, making things line up phase. So what we'll do, excuse my noisiness here. What we'll do is uh, we're going to do some of the pressing that's needed. Yep, got to think through this a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill and tap this gear so that it's in place um, once we start pressing bearings in. Because I need to start pressing the bearings in in order to get the enclosure alignment perfect. So we'll start drilling and tapping this. All right, so we've uh, we put some sharpie on the on the uh, bridge of the gear that we're going to turn cut. We're going to drill, drill and tap for. So we're I don't know if you'll be able to see my little scribe line. There's one there, there, and over here. There's it basically divided it up into thirds or as close as I could get it into thirds. So now I've got my little V block set up again. I'm going to set it on here, and we're already kind of centered at this point. So we're just going to, no, we're not quite centered. We're going to have to come over just a bit. So what I'll do is I'll bring that over just a bit. And uh, we'll start the center drilling here from here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we have center drilled on our three axes, basically. Our three, that actually is split it pretty well. Okay, we're doing a 964th hole to uh, tap for some number 832 screws. 64th is not the right size, but it's the closest size I have to it. It's actually a little bit oversized, but I think that'll be okay. tapping next. All right, we'll take a little uh, tapping fluid and a number eight spiral tap. And that's not plumb just yet. I want to make sure I'm straight up and down so that I don't get my tap all crooked. There we go. And we've just got a little aluminum here to protect the teeth of the jaw. So we'll start uh, tapping. It's not too bad to get these things straight and started straightly. It's not too bad anyway. And I love working with spiral tap. And this hole is over anyway, so it's going to be an easy going tap. And then we got a little ways, we'll break the chip. Go again. Break the chip.
got the uh, the gear has been drilled and tapped, so that's the first thing we want to get on here, so we can have the have the uh, the gear in place. I need to file off a little burr here. I got a bit of a burr in there somewhere. I got to take care of, and then uh, we'll pull you in close and show you the initial assembly of this stuff. All right. Okay, so now we're ready to do some assembly. I need to put the gear in there before I start pressing bearings on so I don't have to pull the bearings off to put the gear back on later. So we're just gonna toss these in here right now um, with the set screws just to uh, get them in place. The gear and the screws just need to go in for now. It doesn't really matter too much how uh, how much clearance. These are not the final screws. They stick out way too far. I think they're going to actually bump some stuff when we get to the assembly process. But I need the gear in place and not flopping around too much. So we'll just throw this on there right, right now and maybe it'll help keep it from rolling around a little bit too to have this there. So that's not going anywhere. ready for a bearing and I'm going to do this side first and so I turn this little ring and I've got this uh, this cut off from some pipe that I'm just going to use as my since I don't really have any other pressing methods any other pressing methods any other we means to do pressing I'm just going to pound on it a little bit so we'll get it on there as far as we can and then uh, We'll give this a little bit of room. So it's just got a 11 16 hole, which will clear all of this stuff. And it's just there to uh, take some of the hit and get on that bearing race, that inner race. And uh, I just want to get it to the point where I can use the nut to pull it on. And I didn't hit squarely that time, so we'll. Starting to get some traction now. So we'll just keep on at it here. Till I expose enough threads, then I can just throw a nut on it. Almost there. There it goes. Now it almost self feeds. We've got enough uh, room now. Throw a nut on it. Oh, it's that tight, huh? Okay. Maybe we won't get to this on the, with the nut on it. We'll keep hitting on it here a little. There it goes. Now it's seated. Now it's fully on. There must have been a burr on the end there that it had to push past. So it's all right that it's like that, um, except I shouldn't have put the gear on just yet um, because now I can't get the piece on that I wanted to get on there. Um, so what I'm going to do is pop the gear off. Now we have this direction like so. Ah, you can't do that. So I have to pull this off. <laughs> This is the assembly process. So we are in assembly mode now. We're going to uh, first get the bearings pressed into their locations real quick. And since I don't have a pressing means, I'm just going to be brutally pounding on them and hope that I don't destroy them. <laughs>
Well, that one is pretty snug and pressed. I had a lot of fidgeting to do to get it to work. This one's kind of loose, but that's okay. Because I need um, I need to be able to set my gap anyhow. And that is using, where did they go? Those other pieces. These are the exact same size. Yes, okay. So that is about how it goes, just like that. So now we can take nuts. Put this one on here. That one will go on pretty good. And this one. I'll go on here. And this is tying the box together a bit. Need another wrench though. And that gets us pretty smoothly flowing without any play. And uh, that'll be the box the box.